What's up guys? This is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh food review for you today. Uh, today we're doing another part of the Lean Cuisine saga, the satay chicken noodles. Um, once again, discounted. Uh, once again, around $3, $3.50. Um, the, I'll tell you what, the um, cooking times lied to me though this time, so I'm gonna gripe about that. Um, you said to put it in the microwave for three minutes and then stir, and then there was a solid mass of frozen stuff in the middle. Um, so I had to try to stir as best as I could, but it was, you know, it was a solid lump. Um, and then I put it in for the extra one and a half minutes it asked for, and there was still a bit of uh, frozenness after I went to stir it again. So uh, you might want to check that if, if you decide to embark on this um, culinary delight. Uh, well, be, it being delight as it remains to be seen, but I uh, didn't know whether to go with a fork or a spoon for this one, so we'll try the fork first, we'll get the spoon just in case. Um, so yeah, I've given it a stir, and um, yeah, but it's, it's had an ample time to stand, so I think I'll just show off the goods right here, there you go, that wasn't, that wasn't very good, I'll actually tilt the camera for you. There we are, that's the stuff. Um, yeah, it's, actually it looks quite nice, uh, the vegetable, let's, 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 let's center a bit. Um, the vegetables actually look really nice in here, um, I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't mind a good chicken satay at home. I don't, I've never actually considered putting green beans in it. I don't know if that's the actual um, the standard uh, procedure for a satay chicken, but I'm hoping this has good nut content. I do like, um, I do like a bit of peanuts in my satay, that, that little bit of crunch it adds. So um, I'm hoping that's in there, but uh, let's, uh, let's just dig right in and see what, uh, see what we find out. Surprisingly firm chicken there. Cooked, don't you worry about that, but um, surprisingly firm, you know, after sitting in liquid for Lord knows how long, you'd think it'd be a bit softer, but it's not. I'm not complaining about it, it's just a weird observation. Well, I don't think it's a weird observation, but it's it's, it's weird that the um, that it that's that's what's going on here. So if we can get some of those green beans I um, was frothing about five seconds ago. That should go all right in here. Um, the sauce is a bit lackluster, you know, I, I, I don't know how many of you had satay chicken, it's pretty common, so I imagine you have, um, but I do, I do like that flavour, it's, um, pretty hard to describe, actually, but, you know, it's, it is, it is a really nice flavour, I, I do prefer it to be a bit stronger, but this is a bit, a bit weak in terms of the flavour front, to be honest, um, there's some other vegetables in here, I think that's tomato or capsicum, I'm about to find out in about one second, um, the noodles are right. Actually, pretty good, well cooked. Um, if it was pasta, I'd say it was al dente, but it's not, so I don't know if that applies here. But um, you know, it's, it's it's cooked to a good standard. Um, gonna try and get that tomato that I just dropped unceremoniously off my fork. Let's, let's dig right into that. Actually, I do think it's I do think it's capsicum now that I've had a bit of. Let's just try it again. Yeah. Yes, yeah, capsicum. Okay, that's uh, that's not bad. There are no peanuts in it, by the way. There, I mean, there's probably peanuts in the sauce, so I imagine it is a. Um, there, there is the allergy warning on the box. Um, I, I do believe it was there. I did I did look at it earlier, um, which is to be expected if you're having satay. Is you know a peanut sauce basically. So um, if you're allergic to nuts, this is obviously not going to be for you. But uh, no, all in all, quite decent. It could use a bit more flavour. There is a bit of spice on it, actually, which I do appreciate. A lot of a lot of satays are a bit weak in the spice front, considering it's an Indian dish. It's um, you know, you do expect a bit of spice, um, but I also do expect a bit of nuts, and that's I'm not I'm not getting that here. Um, the chicken's quite nice. The vegetables are reasonably well cooked, actually. There's a bit of there's a bit of firmness to them because they're snap frozen um, when they. You know, when we're at the Lean Cuisine factory or whatever they, whatever they want to call it. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Could use a bit more flavor though. Yeah, that's 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 what it comes down to. The chicken is, you know, it's, it's quite nice, good good quality. Um, and the noodles are quite nicely cooked, especially given I had to put it in for an extra 30 seconds. Um, what would I give it out of 10? Um, probably oh, 6.5 SARS out of 10 Tays. Uh, could use a bit more of the... Um, could you, uh, of the of the satay flavor that I was I was after, um, and I, I and this is personal preference here, but the nuts are a big thing for me. I do I do like that crunch that goes with it. So um, yeah, that, that's that's what I give it. Once again, the um, yeah at half price, so six point five is yeah decent, but I, I don't I don't know that I'd be spending seven dollars on it, you know. Um, but once again, guys, um, this has been the Mexican. If you liked the content. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button right there. 
And if you want to watch uh, another Lean Cuisine video, uh, there's quite a couple up there now, um, go ahead and hit that button right there. Um, once again, guys, this has been The Mexican, signing off.